The Gemara tells us in Beya the difference between Kedusha Shabbos and Kedusha Yontif. Kedusha Shabbos is Kiva Vakaima. Shabbos has inherent Kedusha. Whether we like it or not, six days a week we work, the seventh day is holy. That's from Makadish Baruch, or that's from God. But Yontif, it's Makadish Yisrael Bahazmanim. It's the Jewish people that sanctify the month, and it's to us to give it to Kedusha. Today the calendar is set up, so we don't notice it as much, but there's a fundamental difference between the sanctity of Shabbos and the sanctity of Yontif. And in fact, that's a discussion regarding Kedusha's Eretz Yisrael, that Eretz Yisrael has a dual, has a double type of sanctity. On one hand, it has an inherent Kedusha Sa'aretz, like Shabbos, that the land is a holy land, no matter what, it's the land of our Avos, it's our Jewish homeland, but as well as the more were Makadish at the higher level of Kedusha, as we found out, it wasn't until Yoshua, when Avram came into the land, it had the it had a certain level of Kedusha Sa'aretz and the others being buried there and the others living there. But it didn't get its full Kedusha until Yoshua Shevek Shekivshu Shevek Shekhuk the seven years of conquering and the seven years of of dividing. So, and the year 15 was the year it reached its level of Kedusha. So we see that Eretz Yisrael has a mixed Kedusha. One hand has Kedusha Sa'aretz, on the hand has, on one hand has the Kedusha Shabbos, on the other hand it has Kedusha Yisrael. And we see this is so, the Shem Yishmu writes, we know on every Motsoy Shabbos we make a Bore Rene B'Samim, or usually on Motsoy Shabbos we make a Bore Rene B'Samim. So they point out that and when Yantif falls out of Motsoy Shabbos, so we don't make Bissamim. So the question is, why not? Why no Bissamim? So it touches on a more fundamental question. Why do we make Bissamim on our usual Saturday night? Because we lost on the Shaman Yusera, so therefore our extra soul, and therefore we want to smell the Bissamim to feel better, and that's why we do it. So is there a neshama yisera on yontiv or not? Because that's the machokas harishonim in our Reb Sachem Tosis and the Rashbam, whether we have a neshama yisera. The Rashbam says yes, Tosis says no. So the Rashbam says that's why there's no neshama yisera when yontiv falls out Motsai Shabbos, because we're not losing anything. We have a neshama yisera, there's no need for a besamim. And Tosis disagrees and says there is no Neshama Yisera. I think if there is no Neshama Yisera on Yantan, that means we are losing it on Shabbos. So how come then we don't make Misamim Saturday night when Yantan falls at a Motsoy Shabbos? Because we have something even better. Misamim is just smelling it while soon as you if you're actually eating it. So therefore, it's a much higher level. So therefore, we don't need the Bissam. We have a real meal. So it's a Machokis, Ram, Rajvam, and Tosis where we have a Nishama Yisera. So Tosis, Kash on the Rajvam is, it, Bishom, according to me, there is no Nishama Yisera. And the only reason Saturday night we don't make it is because we have a Suda instead. But according to you, Rajvam, you're saying the reason why there's no Nishama, there's no Bissamim, when Yantav falls out after Shabbos, is because in Yantav we have a Neshama Yisera. If that's true, so what about Motzi Yantav Achron, when Yantav is over? So we should make a Bissamim then, because you're losing the Neshama Yisera. And the fact that we don't make a Bissamim, Motzi Yantav, that shows that I'm right, and there is no Neshama Yisera in Yantav. So the Avni Nezer, Shemi Shvul, they want to answer up Tosis Kasha and the Rashbam. How would the Rashbam answer? How come there is no Neshama? How come there is no Bissamim when Yantiv is over? So the Avni Nezi, the Shem Yishu will point out, as we began this year, there's a fundamental difference between 
the Kedusha of Shabbos and the Kedusha of Yantar. We say Kedusha of Shabbos is Kiva Vakayamin. That's why we make Kiddush. Kiddush is like Kedusha Tabachor. It's really Kodesh me. I love it. It's really holy in its own right. But the only reason we make a kid is we want to make Kaddish Bepeh. Like, like Kedusha Bechor. So we want to make a Kaddish Bepeh, so we um, go ahead and do it. We add to the Kedusha, but inherently it's fair. Masha'in Kain by Yantiv, it's Makadish Yisrael Ba'azmanim. We bring it in. And therefore, I like get everything in life, the more you do, the more effort you put into something, the more meaningful it is. Like it says, but Hevel held behavi gamhu. Why was Hevel's carbon accepted and not Kayin? Because Hevel brought himself, not just bringing the plucking off a fruit off the tree. He actually was most nefesh and did some work on it. And in life, whether spirituality or physical things, ben ben beruchnius ben begashmius. That you saw it is true that we go ahead and we have um, and the more you put into something that's why really Har Sinai would have lost its Kedusha as the Meshach HaKam appointed just because of the damage of a minion we couldn't lose its Kedusha but the fact that Jews didn't do anything they just came and left so it didn't have the same impact so when you when the Kedusha comes by itself so it's easy come easy go and this world easy come easy go so the Kedusha leaves right away. So Shabbos, it takes off right away, Motsari Shabbos. And when it comes to Yantav, since we brought it in, therefore it doesn't leave right away. So there's no need for Bissamim, the Rashvam would say, because the Bissamim, because the Yitzhak the, the Neshama Yisera is leaving slowly. It's a process, and therefore we don't have to worry. And with this is so, we can also understand the famous Kasha. How come when it comes to Friday night, to... Well, Shabbos, we have before, after Minka, before we dive in Myra, we have a Kabbalah Shabbos. Very popular today, Friday Night Live, of Shlomo, many Karbach, Minyanim. Why is it that we have a big Luchal Dodi by Friday night? Why don't we have a similar one? You know, it doesn't have to be Luchal Dodi. We can find appropriate capitals to find to say for Erev Yantif. So why is it when it comes to Erev Yantif? There is no Kabbalah Yantav, so to speak, but we do have Kabbalah Shabbos. So the Rav Salvation got the famous answer he points out because on Shabbos, God comes to us. So God comes to us, we want to receive him. And on Yantav, Ola Regal, we go to God's house, so therefore it's not Shaykh HaKabbalah Yantav. But along those lines, that's what it's actually saying is that on Shabbos, the Kedush is by itself. So therefore, I want to make a Kabbalah. I want to feel like I want to make that token Kabbalah, like I make that token Kiddush. And therefore, we say, so we could do some, at least some formal act, making believe that we're bringing in, uh, we can feel a little part of the Kedush of Shabbos. But it would come anyway. Masha'in came by Yantav, it's redundant. What do you mean, Kabbalah is Yantav? Yantav is only here because Makadish is of Azmanim, and therefore, that's why we don't have a Kabbalah Shantav, and that's why according to the Rashbam, we don't need a Bissam of Motsar Yantav, even though we had in the Shama Yisei on Yantav, that sticks around longer because we worked on it. And that's the Yisod, we said the difference between Kedusha Shabbos and Kedusha Yantav, and that's the Yisod of Kedusha Eretz Yisrael. Eretz Yisrael is a dual Kedusha. On one hand, it's the land of Avavos, it's the land inherently Kadosh, it's our holy land. On the other hand, the more we do, because the Jews didn't go down, you know, the Jews didn't come down during Ezra's time. Even Bizman by Yesheni didn't have Bias Kuchem. You couldn't do certain mitzvahs. That the point being is when Yeshua did the Sheva Shekipshu, the Sheva Shechokhu, the seven years he conquered and seven years divided, that gave Eretz Yisrael the full fledged Kedusha and the FA year 15. So we see Eretz Yisrael has an inherent Kedusha. And it also depends on us. The more we do to Eretz Yisrael, the higher level it's Kedusha.